Hey, my name's Colton. I'm the compliance manager here at Huckbrook Safety Co. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to buy Espresso. Okay, so you wanna buy a suppressor. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to the ATF website, sign up, get yourself a username and a pin. That's gonna make the process a lot easier later on. So now that you've done your homework and you know you wanna buy a Huxworks suppressor, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to an FFL or an SOT that either has a silencer shop kiosk or that they can help you out with your ATF Form 4 process. During the ATF Form 4 process, you'll need a passport photo, your fingerprints, the username and PIN we signed up for, and then a driver's license or a way to verify your address. Some SOTs will provide the service of doing your fingerprints and photo for you. That's something you'll have to call ahead and verify that they do. So at this point, the hard part's over. The associate at the SOT is going to finish out your paperwork. You'll provide them with a credit card or debit card to pay for the $200 tax stamp. And then you'll receive an email verifying that they have submitted your ATF Form 4. If you're filing your ATF Form 4 with a gun trust, you're gonna to have to complete a couple extra steps. One being making sure you bring your trust with you to file for your ATF Form 4. Also, anyone who is a settler or a trustee on your trust will need to bring a passport photo, their fingerprints, and also a way to verify their address. Your FFL SOT will then help the trustees and settlers on your trust fill out a responsible person questionnaire to then complete your ATF Form 4 paperwork. Now the waiting game begins. Depending on ATF Form 4 times, soon you'll be getting an email notifying you that your ATF Form 4 has been approved. At this point, you'll reach back out to your FFL SOT and you'll schedule a time to do a 4473 or a basic background check and go in and pick up your suppressor. If you have any questions about your ATF Form 4, reach out to your local FFL SOT and I'm sure they'd be happy to help you. Also, make sure they have Huxworks suppressors and we'll see you next time.